Okay, we're recording. All right, so basically what I wanted to do is just get your November jump started on the right track. As you guys know, a lot of the momentum and growth that has happened on this particular team has been due to parties. It really is a lot of growth in a very short amount of time and i know that you can have amazing growth on social media too but that takes a little bit more finesse it takes a little bit more time to develop but parties are instantaneous they happen immediately and it doesn't matter if you have one person there or 10, 10 people there it can turn out really really great and so i just want to challenge you guys to push out of your your normalcy and try to book yourself one to two parties this month. And I want everyone on this group to be Ruby this month. Like everyone can do that. You could easily go Ruby in two parties. Legit. You could go Ruby in two parties. Like it's so crazy the amount of growth that you can do. But say that you are nervous to ask people to host a party for you or to do one at your house or whatever. This is a little nugget that I gleaned from the Boston live event, I bought um, the live recording of it so I could watch it over the weekend. And wouldn't you know, several of the, the, the things that they had planned for like the talking events and like bringing people up and interviewing them were on parties, but not just parties. The things that I found interesting that I hadn't ever thought of, they're calling them pop-ups. And what they are doing is they are getting a list together of their local boutiques, their local gyms, their local salons, and just making calls, asking if they would be willing to allow you to come in, give them free marketing on your social media, and just allow their customers to try the, and sample the product. So if they already have like a bustling business and people are coming in and out, and you've got a little table sitting there letting their clients taste the product, those are people that you don't know that you would not have come in contact with normally, but they're local and you could set up parties with them while you're there. You can get, have a little calendar and write and get parties from these people. Um, and just letting them sample stuff and signing customers on the spot, which is amazing. And the, the salon, gym, boutique, whatever, could also advertise you're going to be there on a certain day on their social media. So it's like a dual um, assistance to each other. And it's really, really awesome because, like, people are usually hesitant to reach out to some random person on social media. But if they see you in person, like, oh, yeah, I saw someone post about that on Instagram. I've been, I've been interested in that. Can I taste it? Then they might fall in love with it, and you can sign them on the spot right there. But the cool thing that I like about parties and the idea of the pop-up is within an hour to two hours, you get everything wrapped up, started, finished in that amount of time and you get to go home and be with your family on social media it is a, it can be a task it can be an all-day event sometimes like reaching out to people and the constant follow-up and making sure you've got the proper pictures and all that and I'm not telling you that social media isn't good and I'm not telling you to not do social media but while that is growing the ability to use your inner personality to reach people and a tangible touching people it's something special about having that one-on-one -on -one connection with somebody that they feel comfortable enough to purchase with you on the spot and being able to try the product so you don't have to buy every single part uh, product that we carry to be able to do a pop-up or party if you just have a few things for people to sample like you have a little kettle there and you have um, hot water that you could pour a little bit of the keto coffee in. One little thing of keto coffee like that could make about eight little samples. So you don't need a ton of them. And, you know, have your little frother there. Um, have the collagen so people can try that, especially at a salon where they are in the beauty industry and letting them see the skincare line, even if you just have images of it and have before and after pictures. It doesn't have to be the big expensive thing that you're doing, but it is awesome. And um, a thing that the, the company is doing, they are rewarding us for doing a pop-up. So the distributors, I think, I can't remember how many said that they said that they were doing, but whoever does the most amount of pop-ups 
in the month of November, they are giving a gift to you. And the way that they are going to know that is because in, whether you're using Instagram to advertise it or, or Facebook, you just use the hashtag it works headquarters or it, what was it again? I have to go back and look. Yeah, it works. I, I have it saved. I'll have to look. I can't look on my phone right now. Or if one of you guys look it up while we're doing this. But all you do is um, use, use the hashtag, and I will find out for sure for you guys which one it is. When you are at the pop up, and it works, will automatically give you a product reward for doing that pop, that pop up. So you can get a facial wrap, uh, a bag of facial wraps, a bag of body wraps, a bag of coffee, to then turn around and sell a sample at your next pop-up. Um, so it, you can do 10 of those in one month, and they're going to give you 10 product rewards, which is amazing. Amazing. I love that they're doing that. But the distributors, I, again, I can't remember how many they're giving this to, but uh, the ones that do the most they are giving a gift to at the end of the month. So that is really exciting. But what this does is not only is it giving you exposure, but it's also most likely, most likely bringing you customers, um, potential distributors or distributors on the spot, people that are local to you so that you can actually go to their house, meet up with them in person. And so you're building a really close-knit community in your local locations, which is awesome. And you can um, book parties from that. And what all that is going to do is build Ruby, build Ruby. Every single time that you build a Ruby, you promote. It's that easy. Every single one of our charts is made up of a Ruby. A Ruby is $500. Guess what that means? Every time that you get a Ruby, that's an extra $500 in your paycheck. It's awesome. And especially if that second Ruby is your husband. How great is that? Like, you're, you get to bring that money in. And, and of, of course, that is, like, the average. So it could be a little less. It could be a little more. But if you're constantly getting those fast starts every week, you could be making $1,000 a month. This is all about getting your charts up and running, building those rubies, and getting yourself to the next ring, and helping build your team, and building to an efficient and fast pace. Because... I love social media. I love it. And I have worked really hard to create a really nice page and create some, create connections and have people close to me and feel bonded to me. It's taken years. It's taken years. But you want me to tell you what I was able to do in the very beginning of my business? I popped out promotion after promotion after promotion by doing parties. From the very beginning of my business, I've always been partying. And that helped me grow really, really fast. Triple diamond in, in a year and a half is very fast. And I had ambassador volume when I went triple diamond. That's a lot of thinking volume that I got a lot from parties and building those people close to me and doing party after party after party. And I love doing it because it's I'm like, again, I'm there an hour, hour and a half, two hours, and I'm done and I'm back home, and I just help build someone else and build myself at the same time. So I don't want you to overthink it. I don't want you to overcomplicate it. I just want you to set a goal for yourself. Raise your bar a little bit. Do something out of your comfort zone. Find someone that's maybe local to you that would make you feel comfortable in going in and doing it together because a buddy will always make you feel a lot more confident about whatever that you're doing because you can feed off of each other. So if you don't have a local DT yet, sign one and start going to asking salons and boutiques and gyms, even if you go on face to face and letting the manager try it. This is like, I want to give you a couple of the samples first to see if this is something that you would feel comfortable with me talking about. It's really hard for people to say no to your face. It's really hard. Because they're in a public facility, they're in a business, and they know that you know where they're at. So um, that's just my tidbit on that. And I wanted to share with you guys what the business, what the company was doing for us for setting up these pop-ups, and just how important it is for your business to not rule it out. Even if your Instagram is the bomb.com, don't rule 
rule out the ability to do a party or a pop-up um, because our company is realizing that people go so much faster that way. And they talk to the people that build on social media. They talk to the people that build doing parties. And these are the best of the best of our company. And they're realizing there's so much gold nuggets that most people are not using, utilizing the pop-ups and events and tables and all this stuff um, because people are afraid and they want to hide behind their screen. But you don't build on the inside of your fear. You build on the outside of your fear. And I had no idea what I was doing the first party I did. I slugged all the way through it. I was sweating all the way down to my socks. I was so nervous. And I had a great time. You know, it's like, at once that initial like, well, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna say? Like God asked away. I was like, all right, this, is, this isn't so bad. I can do this. People are asking questions and it's okay to say, I don't know. That's a really great question. Let me text my upline. I'll get an answer for you before the party ends. What's so hard about that? If you don't know, say, I don't know. That's a really good question. I'm still pretty new at this. But I'm going to learn something new today along with you. So it's okay to do those kinds of things. Um, another thing that I wanted to discuss to you is make sure you have your Ruby charts printed out. I want you to be able to see them. If you don't have a printer, have it on the back side of your phone, like on the background so you can see it all the time. I want you to get familiar with what a Ruby chart looks like. What is the requirement to go Ruby? Breathe, drink it, and feel it and feed it in all the time. So you're like, yeah, I'm a Ruby. That's doable. I can do that. We've got this. Ruby all the way. I know that I need three DTs. I know that I, each of those distributors need 400 in volume of each. I know that I need 2,000 group R volume total. I am going to get this done. This is how I'm going to do this. Plan A. This is how I'm going to get this person. This is how I'm going to get this person. And just like feel it, know it, believe it. Because then if you actually feel like it's something tangible, what's going to happen? You're going to work towards that goal and make it happen. But if you're so scared and you're like, oh, I've already talked to seven whole people and they, they didn't want to join me. I'll never get to Ruby because seven people told me no. And then you're not going to put forth the effort or the work to get those three people to join your team. So believe that it's already there. Believe that you're already Ruby. Um, if you are already Ruby, then dream of Emerald. Dream of Diamond. Diamond's where you're, you have the license to print money because you have so many caps on um, your distributors. And you make a lot more stinking money at Diamond from those tabs, and that's something that we'll get into later um, because that probably doesn't make any sense to you right now. Um, but yeah, I just want you to believe that you can go Ruby and just look at it. And if you need a game plan on going Ruby and how you're going to make that happen, please schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. We can go over that chart together. I can help you with ideas. Um, I can help you talk to friends and family that you think might be interested. I don't expect you to know how to do everything, but if you're not utilizing your uplines, then you're then you're losing a lot in your business because we're here to guide and assist you. But if you don't reach out and ask for that help, we're not mind readers. So please make sure that you're reaching out and asking like, hey, I talked to so-and-so, they had a lot of good questions. I didn't really know how to answer them. Can we please schedule a three-way call? Right before I did this, I did a three-way call, 10 minutes. That's all it takes. It's not this long, lengthy thing. So um, now I want to open it to you guys. If, if you have questions, I, I'm still not going to be home for a little bit, so we can talk as long as you guys want. But I can't read anything. If you're going to put it in the chat, I need you to unmute yourself and then just ask me. But please ask a question because this is for you guys, and I, someone else might be worried or wondering the same thing, so you'll be helping them out. Hello, ma'am. Hey, go hi. <laughs> hey. Okay, so my question is, because you know I did a pop-up about a month ago at a juice bar that we had. So my question more so would be because there is a channel so I was thinking about reaching out to 
the gym and see like if we could do like a little pop up there. But I don't know. Do you have any suggestions for like how I might ask them to promote on social media? Because I don't know necessarily, I guess, how like they would do with that. And then um, Drillin has showed the, the little PDF that they have for the pop up. Is this stuff like on eSuites that we can like get printed? to like do because I want to have something on my table that you know kind of has our brand on it yeah those are really great questions so the way that you would be able to advertise on your social media is one going and talking in your story and just say hey guys just so you know next Friday I'm going to be at you name that location you tag that location to say I'm going to be having this 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 product there to sample come and try it um and, and then just like talk about it and talk about it every day leading up to it and always tag that location. Um, that's going to be your best way of advertising because you don't necessarily need to have it in your feed. But if you have it in your store and you talk about it every single day, it's just like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And people are like, you know what? I'm going to go taste that. I'm going to go try that. And even if um, other people that aren't following you, if you're public, they can see that tag too. Okay. And then you can have the location on their Instagram shared to their story. Okay. Now, do you have like a suggestion on like how many samples we should bring for something like that? So it depends on each location. So if you're going to plan on going to a gym, I really recommend bringing the hydrate because they, they're drinking Gatorade, which is $2.50 a piece for craft, and you can have a Gatorade sitting on the table and have them turn around and read the labels of both. Okay. And then have like a little cue card and turn around the price to see how much they're saving getting the hydrate. Okay. Uh, so it's like, let them make the decision. You're like, I don't need to tell you nothing. You know how to read? Read the ingredients on the back of this. Read the ingredients on the back of this. Please check the sugar and carb on that too. Please check the food coloring on that too, please. And then just say, how much do you think that this one is going to cost? You flip it over and you show them that it's cheaper than the Gatorade, they're going to be stupid enough to buy it right there. Okay. So well, I need to get some hydrate. hydrate. Yeah, definitely have some hydrate there handy. And if you don't, have a printout. Have okay. a printout of the ingredients and let them see that. Um, what about the keto, would, uh, the keto so, energy? Yes, the keto energy would be fantastic. Same thing. The keto coffee would be fantastic because a lot of people are doing the keto diets in the gym. Um, and then we also have a product called New You that has that human growth hormone in it that helps you recover quickly after a workout. It helps you sleep better and it helps your, your uh, body to be able to build that muscle quicker. So that's really great for people in the gym. So those would be my few products that I would have on hand for a gym. Okay. I just thought about it, I guess, as a hindsight. Maybe we could do, like, I don't know, like a board. Not necessarily, like, board, board, but um, like a word doc that would have, like, if you're going to a salon, what products might be good to promote at a salon. If you're going to a gym, what might be good to promote at a gym, just so that Absolutely. we all... I can work on that. even you you know that because that might help you know know what to target because um like me and Jordan were talking about I'm starting to get comfortable with some of the products but there still are some that I haven't used to know or feel comfortable enough with what those are and how to explain them yeah absolutely um I would be more than happy to create that for you guys and just little tidbits and stuff like that and if um, anyone has a planned pop-up I definitely want to do a one-on-one -on -one with you coaching to walk you through it and answer any questions and answers that you might have before going in and giving you tips and stuff like that too but I can definitely create a board of hey. you would want at a, at a just different types of pop-ups I think that's a great idea Was that, did I answer your question? Yes. Okay. Hey, awesome. um, oh, sorry. Hi. 
I'm Jessica. Uh, Who is it? I'm, this is Jessica. Okay, sorry, I can't see her. I'm listening to the little emoji guy. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, you know, oh, whatever. I was actually, I was going to say, because, um, you know, I just started this like two weeks ago. But I was yeah. going to say, um, when Casey was talking. Hey, Casey. Um, hey. I was thinking if, because there's like, I actually had gone my first week when I was out and asked to, you know, set up like a table at our gyms here. And I had three of them that told me I could come in and like gave me dates. I could come in for like the next two months and I was going to ask if maybe you wanted to come with me. <laughs> Absolutely. Now I'm off on yes! Thursday. <laughs> so, like, it's three, like it's three different ones and I've never done it. And I was like, well, Casey and Gerald know a little bit better than I do. So <laughs> Jessica, if you give me a date, I'll come with you. I'll come too. I'll come down. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I even had to, you know, like it was just an initial thought when I was driving around town. So I don't even like have anything. So I needed. I have plenty of stuff. I got it all. <laughs> yeah, and I got another auto ship coming too. I'm actually on here doing an auto ship while we're talking. <laughs> so yeah, I was gonna ask like work something out. So we could do it. I'm so excited. Hold on, just one second. Okay, everyone up again. Okay, cool. Yeah, Brooke. Hey. Hey, so yeah, there's um I just sent everyone a message, but there's a whole section on in E Suite on pop ups. They have flyers, they have question and answers, they have um, how do you talk to the managers? What do you say? How do you book it? Um, it's awesome. They have a whole section under the document library on pop-ups. And um, if you tag the, um, it works at, it works HQ. That's how you're okay. to win. And then the first 50 distributors to have the most pop-ups between the third and the 30th, get a free it works apron okay perfect i didn't know if it i thought for some reason i thought it was 30 so I'm glad you clarified that it's 50 which is awesome and i was saying it works headquarters but it's hq so i was close <laughs> thank you for checking in on that and um you said that you shared that report for us to use the what did you share, did you share um that from where it is in each week i can right now yeah perfect but there's a whole, um, there's like a how to guide and it's awesome because it walks you through all the steps and like the samples and there is a bundle pack if you want to get it, it is kind of expensive, but you also can sell products at your pop-up, which you can make money there. You can sign distributors. There's like a whole bunch of information on EC about how to do pop-ups. So. Yeah. And, and um, I recommend if you are going to do a pop-up that your goal should be to try and book a couple parties from that pop-up. So have a calendar there that you can write in people's parties and dates, get their phone numbers and get it locked down. Um, and then once you're done with the pop-up, have a time set up that you're going to call them and let them know what to expect, um, different things to have, like it's just like a little cheese and cracker board, something simple, have some wine, um, and then um, send them like a little PDF invitations that they can send to their girlfriends with their their names, their address, the time and date, and all that. And I have that, so I can always edit that and make it for you too to keep it simple. But thank you so much for for going and checking on that for us and then adding that information. That is really really useful. Sure. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions? This should be questions. Ain't nobody know everything. I still have questions. <laughs> okay, this is just a random question. Um, yeah. The hydrate online right now, there's like two pages of them and they all look the same. Are they all different flavors so that I don't have to sit and click in each one? Or is it just the lemon first? We only have the lemon. Okay, well they have like nine, nine out there. Like they're individual packets. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. They're all the same What's price. On our website? Yeah, I'm under e-suites and I'm in my auto ship. 
And I went to shopping and typed in hydrate and it brought up like a page full of them. Oh, so we only have the one flavor. And okay. it's like one back. So maybe they're like different types of bundle packs possibly or like sets of They're all the same price. Okay, then we, yeah, they're, they're just being above and beyond giving you multiples of the same <laughs> option. <laughs> In case you didn't see this hydrate, here's the exact same one. <laughs> I'm going to order all of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, we only have one flavor. Okay. And okay. it's really good. It's yummy. And I, like, if you're going to do a pop-up, if you take the big 24-ounce mason jars and you already have them preloaded up and you have little Dixie cups, that's going to be your best friend. Um, because you can just pour little samples there for everybody to taste instead of like whipping it up for each person and taking all that time. Um, and as people are walking out of the gym, it's like, hey, here's a hydrate. And you can be like, as they're walking, you're like, what, what's the one gram of, what's the one gram of sugar? No food coloring. Like, just keep spatting stuff off to them. It'd be real funny. <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions? Is, Brooke, is there anything that I'm forgetting that you feel like I need to talk about? 
Um, I don't think so, honestly. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, just today's the last day for distributors to get the carb control and about it, right? Yeah, with their business builder kit. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I'm not, I actually scheduled some pop ups. I might be doing my own team giveaway for the person who does the most. So that might be something you want to do. I'm really good at thinking. <laughs> I'm also really good at receiving gifts, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, is so it, I have some. What's that? Is it for November only? November only, yep, because that's the company, they are, that's when they are putting their limit. So I want you guys to push yourself. I want you to get those product awards and get those books and all that. So if you got one book and you got it done on your schedule, send it to me. Let me see it. I'll get you guys entered in and I'll do I'll do my own team uh, giveaway as well. So that will be fun for you guys. It's fun for me. I love giving back. Um, but yeah, don't sell yourself short. Start making some phone calls. Like Brooke said, there is that report in the document section that you can go and look at how to communicate, how to talk to the managers and ask for that permission. So it's like, you can't mess it up. Everything's right there, hand it to you. Like, just get her done, don't be afraid. You got this, it could be the best thing you've ever done. And you're like, oh my God, I love it, more! And you're just gonna like keep growing and growing and growing and it's gonna be awesome. And um, I, I don't want you guys to get discouraged. Like everyone grows at their different paces and everyone gets to a point where they're just like, all right, well, I'm just bound and determined. I'm gonna give it all I got and here goes nothing. And all of a sudden your business changes because your mindset changes and you're willing to, to do what you weren't willing to do before because you really need to change. And I joined at that point in my life. We literally had $5 when I joined. It was do or die. I had no options and I wasn't afraid to do anything because I was more afraid of us not being able to pay our bills and having to ask for help or moving in with Tyler's parents, which I wasn't wanting to do that again. We'd already done that twice. Um, and like, you just have to go for it and pretend there's no plan B option. There's nothing else that is is going to be able to matter because it's, this is going to benefit your family in ways that you can only imagine and dream of because I never, ever, ever once dreamed in a million years that I would be or have the life that I have after spending $99 I did not have on a business and on a kit that I had no clue what I was doing. I'm a little nobody nothing from Oklahomaville, and I built this amazing business with the most amazing people, including yourself. And I'm so fortunate and I'm so thankful that I had nothing because it pushed me to make everything happen. I was going, if I could have made $500 a month, I legit felt I was rich. Rich! I was like, oh my gosh, like I'd be happy with 200, but seriously, if I could make $500, we would be so rich. And I just remember thinking like, oh my gosh, that would be the most amazing thing ever. It would help my family out so much. And I made that in my first four months. And then I doubled it the next month. And I doubled it the next month. And I doubled it the next month because I kept being consistent doing the exact same work every single day. I didn't care what I felt like. I didn't care what was going on in my life. My business was important to me because I knew my business was setting my family up for success. Once I saw the money coming in after I worked so hard and it was month after month after month, doubling, doubling, doubling my income, I was like, this is easy. Is this even legal? Like, they're giving me this money and I'm having fun doing it. Like, this is crazy. So never, ever, ever cut, like, sell yourself short. Never count yourself out and feel like I don't have that magic sauce. I don't have.
have what he has. I don't have what it takes. I don't have this big Instagram. I'm not a size zero. I'm not white. I'm not whatever. Whatever you feel like you are telling yourself is the reason you can't be successful. I want you to write it down on a piece of paper. I want you to rip it up and I want you to toss it in the trash because it's right where it belongs in the trash garbage. That is not true at all. You can find anyone that has the exact same either situation, whatever as you, that is a number one top VIP person in the company that is your shining light, that they are just where you are right now, and they have, they have made it surpass that. They have brought their family out of the trenches and are successful. Don't ever, ever compare yourself to anybody because you can do the most amazing things as long as that five-pound thing in between your ears is set on the right context with this positivity and that you can do anything that you set your mind to. So I want you to set goals for yourself for yourself this month that might make you a little bit scared and I want you to run with it with all you got. And if you don't have a pay raise at the end of this month, you weren't pushing hard enough. That's all there is to it. Stop being scared of what people think. Stop being scared of, you know, what if I'm not successful? Because guaranteed, no one's going to give you a penny for their opinion. And the only person that's going to fail if you don't succeed is yourself. But what happens if you are successful? What happens if you can do it? I want you to focus on that. What if I can? Not can't. Always, if you have a negative thought in your brain, switch it around and put it as a glass half, it, half full and just say, well, what if I can? No, I can. I can do this. And always believe in yourself. Count yourself in because every single one of you have the making to do something extraordinary. You just have to be the one to decide that it's you. And you have to be able to go all in and say, yep, you know what? I, I'm no different than her. She's not better than me because no one is better than you. Only you can decide that for yourself if someone's better than you because you're the one telling yourself that. So believe in yourself. Stay positive. Do something for your business today that makes you excited, that um, gets you pumped up, that makes you feel proud of yourself, and then do it day after day after day after day. And you will just be on this positive high that nothing can bring you down. Every single day do something every single day. This is a, a consistency business. It's not an overnight microwave business. It's an oven business. And it takes a little bit to get hot. But once that baby's hot, it is cooking. Right. So let's get to work. I'm so excited for you guys. November is going to be awesome. Let's make some pop-ups happen, some parties popping, and all that good jazz. And we are going to be growing ruby after ruby after ruby on this team and it's just not going to stop we got a couple months till conference babies so let's bring it in let's do this i'm excited okay i'm starting to get into traffic so i probably need to pay attention i've been on, like roads all by myself but is it work were you wanting to say something i see your face like you were going to say something yep okay cool i'm going to hop off thank you everybody for being on here and taking some time out today i truly truly appreciate and every one of you and I love you guys so much and um let's kill November all right see you guys